Hey everyone, I wanted to show you how I made these cards that I'm putting with my samples in Canva. So uh, just follow along with the video and pause when you need to and just go step by step with me. So let's uh, share my screen here. I think it's this. Share, I've gotta move things around so I can find Canva. Okay. Sorry, all right. Hopefully you're seeing my screen and you go to canva.com and then right here, create a design, go down a card. Loading, loading, loading. Go to card, go to card. And then you can search templates here. Um, there's all kinds of templates you can use. Uh, if you're printing them yourself, you want something on a white background with very little design. Um, anything like this over here, da, 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 anything really graphic heavy, it's gonna take a lot. Um, I think I searched New Year's cards to find this template. It really doesn't matter though. Um, just find something, here's, here's one that's sort of similar. And then that gives you the fun designs and whatnot, but you can change any of this. So I don't like script D script fonts because I find them hard to read. Maybe that's just me being old. Ugh, everything's being slow right now. There we go. So you can go through here, you see elements, text, all this stuff on the side, on the left side. Um, I'm going to highlight this, go up to the left, change my, my fonts. Um, okay. Uh, you can change what it says. Highlight it again. New year, new posh. You can make it go on all one line by just stretching it out. You can change the size of it right here. Okay, I don't wanna take up a lot of your time, but you can, just, you can just fiddle around with this stuff here. If you don't want this here, that's kind of cute though, here's the future, but you can highlight, delete, um, you know, move it all around. And then this is kind of an ivory background. I just clicked on the background. I can change the color. So if you want it to be white, you can click white. Oh, that didn't quite do it. It did like a border. Hmm. It's really something you just have to go in and play with, but I hope you get the idea. And then you can create a new text box. Um, like this and I wrote thank you for shop shopping with me so you can create your own text box you can change the font you can change the size of the of the font um, I, I wrote love Kelly with a marker um, just to give it a little personalization. I added a picture of myself. Uh, you can click uploads down here on the left. Uploads, upload an image or video. My kids use this for school projects too. Just go like upload any picture you have and it will just save it here for you um, in your pictures. You can see a lot of posh stuff in here. And then you can see my QR codes in here too. So. Um, Let's come back over here and go to the back. So you can, if you want to put a picture of yourself in there, just upload a picture and, and, and add it over. Uh, let me find one real quick. I need to clean this up. There's a lot of stuff in here I don't need. I use this for posh. I use this for my personal life. Um, here's a picture of me. I can just shrink it down, put it in the corner. It's good to put your picture on things. Um, just to remind people of your face and that you are actually a real person, but you don't have to put your picture if you don't want to. So back to here, um, to make the back of this card, 
uh, where I had this info here. I just added a new page. Let me try to make this one white. Okay, I don't, I'm not sure why this one won't be totally white. It's the template I picked. I don't know. You can you don't even have to pick a template, but it's easy if you want like little designs around it. They're already there for you. But if you want to add your own designs and really spend some time on it, you can click over to elements and you can find all kinds of little like stickers to put on and you can search, you can search stars and it comes up with all kinds of little fun things you can drag over you can uh, watch this you can drag them you can resize them you can change the color so you can really do whatever you want with it and then if you don't like something you can just delete it and then if you want it back you can kick this arrow up here and it's undo and it puts it back um all that so next page, the QR code. So I added some text boxes. I added another big one and I wrote new year, new posh, pamper more in 2020. And the reason these are new year's cards is because I didn't send out Christmas cards to my customers. And um, so I'm sending new year's cards with new samples and I'm not asking them to buy anything. It's more of a gift. Of course, they're going to try samples and they're probably gonna wanna buy stuff. But it is a new year, like happy new year. Thank you for shopping with me. I'm sending them some new samples. And then um, the back I wrote, point your phone camera here. Actually, let me, let me open up my actual card. I wanted to show you how to create your own, but I will just go to my actual card that I made and you can read what I wrote. You can pause this and write this down and use my wording if you want to. Um, of course, this is being so slow right now. It's not usually this slow. Maybe it's because I'm recording the video as well. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here it is. I use Canva for so many different things. What? It's not what I clicked. Sorry, I hate wasting your time. I don't like when people waste my time, so I don't like wasting other people's time. Let's get to this. I, I'm so sorry, let me close some of these windows. Sorry, I keep sniffling too. No, this is running today. Okay, so here's my card. Here's the back. New Year, New Posh, Pamper More in 2020. And I just, this is a text box with a font and you can change the color of it up here, the size, the name of the font. Um, you can see other options when you scroll around. So you can play with it, pick, pick ones that are you. Make them easy to read. I, like I said, don't get too scripty. If you do anything scripty or fancy, keep it to titles only. Do not make the bulk of your post. That's basic um, graphic design 101. So this is a different text box here and I, that you can see what I wrote here. So for the QR code, uh, I honestly don't remember what I did, but just go to Google and Just type in um, QR code, that's what that is, QR code maker. All right, I'm gonna click on this one. And you just enter your website Whatever you want your cube, it's, re it's reloading. Thanks for all the technical difficulties, computer. Um, just put whatever website you want it to point to here. 
for me, I use a thing called campsite. Let me there's also one called Linktree, but I was having problems with Linktree. So I found a different one called campsite. It's hard today. It's cold out. So if you go to campsite, you can create your own little free web page like this. This is the, the link here, campsite.bio. Posh W. Kelly is mine. I have already set this up. Um, you can go to campsite and set up your own or go to Linktree and set up your own. It's the same deal. Um, it is free. And then all of these buttons connect to my different things on social media. So shop goes to my website. Let's hope, because I've been having issues with my website. Um, I need to do deal with that when I get off this call. Instagram. I click it, it goes to my Instagram. Facebook should go to my Facebook business page. Yep. But this one down here, exclusive sales and giveaways for my VIP customers, that goes to my group. And on um, the card, it says point your phone camera here, which I feel like that's very important to say. So people open up their phone camera and just point it at that and it will open up that campsite page. When people point their phone camera at that, it'll open this. You can try it right now. If you're watching this on a computer, point your phone camera. Point your phone camera at this. And you'll see a link pop up and you can click it and it will go to my campsite page. You can have this point straight to your VIP group or to your website or whatever you want to do. This is your choice. Um, but I say go point your phone camera here to post your reviews in my Facebook group. You can win free posh. Um, so maybe I should rename this um, Facebook group just so people know. I'll do that after though. Um, and this code will also take you to my website and my other social media accounts. Please follow and subscribe. So that is it. And then when you're done with this, you just uh, save it. You see up here in the right corner, if you click that carrot, you can click download. And then I would save the card as a PDF file. PDF print suggested because you're printing. Don't save it as a, um, a JPEG or a PNG file. I would save it as a PDF file because it will print more clearly. And then um, these are four by six cardstock cards that I bought at Hobby Lobby um, in a stack. I was going to show you like the whole stack in the in the scrapbooking sections. Uh, you can buy the cards already cut to this size, five by seven, whatever. I get four by six because that works very well with my printer at home. And um, my my photo tray is four by six, so I can just slide these in the photo tray and it just prints them. And I I just print out like ten at a time. Um, put in ten pieces of paper. Print the front side first. And then I take them all out, I flip it over, and then I print the back side. And um, everybody's printers are different, so I'm not going to get into printing. You could also upload, the, you might need to save it as a PNG file, perhaps, if that's a high quality image. Uh, JPEGs are smaller, so save it as high quality, the highest quality you can, because you're going to print. Um, you can save it as a PNG file and get them printed at Kinko Staples, Office Depot, Vistaprint.com. Um, get them printed on cards if you prefer. I like to print stuff at home because it's 
instant gratification for me. So um, that should be everything. If you have any questions on this, please ask. Please ask in the comments because your question will help other people out. And if you really need um, some one-on-one -on -one help, just shoot me a message and I can walk you through some things. But uh, please, please, please start with posting questions in the comments just because it's gonna help everybody out. And that is my tutorial on how to make cards for your customers with a QR code.